Alright folks, this guy is Rudder, and Rudder is a northern common snapping turtle. Um, he's a great pet, he's really gregarious and has a lot of personality. And I just want to show you something kind of interesting and fun that I've been working on. That's basically that I have Pavlovian conditioned him. So if you guys remember, Pavlovian conditioning is the idea that by that you can take a stimulus that's not related to a different stimulus and elicit that response. So for example, the classic uh, example is uh, Pavlov would ring a bell while he was feeding a dog a treat and eventually he would stop feeding the treat but he would ring the bell and the dog would still salivate over it in anticipation of a treat because they were Pavlovian conditioned. And that's essentially what I've done with the rudder here. And so I wanted to show you kind of what's happening. And essentially, actually I'm not prepared because I don't have those tongues. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. But so I had to hide him so he wouldn't see him because he's conditioned him. But I was being Pavlovian conditioning in him to this set of feeding tongs. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And so um, essentially over time, I've only had him for several months, but you can put your hands in the water and he started to become less fearful of me. Um, initially he kind of zap away. I don't know if you can see this, but there might be a little bit of interest in here, but he's not actually even showing much interest at all, okay? Um, if I wiggle my fingers in front of him long enough, I could probably elicit a food bite, but, you know, just as a general, he's not super excited by this, and he might be a little different right now because i got a bright light on him, but let me show you, and then here, here's a food sample. He might respond to this. I don't know. And eventually he'll be able to smell this too, and he'll be able to respond to it. But now, let's try with feeding tongue. Things are hard to pick up. Oops. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Immediate response. He's actually responding to the tongs, not the food. So, um, this actually can kind of be a little bit exciting when you go to feed him because sometimes if you don't time it just right, he will actually go after the tongs instead of the food. You might be thinking that's a problem, but really there's a lot of utility in me only feeding with these feeding tongs, and that is that he's conditioned to the tongs rather than my hands. So if you can imagine if he would just have that response every time I went in to put my hands in with him, it'd be real impediment to my pleasure interactions with him because I'd be worried about getting snapped. But as you can see, hands in the water, he might be a little more fired up right now, but there's a lot of inhibition there. You know, these animals are actually pretty smart, and they're not little like my other things. And he's kind of turned on because he's got food, so I'm not saying he wouldn't bite me. But let's see the difference again. Ready? As soon as he sees his tongues, man, these little buggers are hard to pick up. Whoa, right on the carpet. Good work. Don't tell Emily. Ready? See? Boom, 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 boom. See how much stronger that feed response is? So imagine if I'd been feeding him this whole last three or four months with my hands, and that was the response every time I put my hands in. So that's the utility in only feeding with a specific set of tongs, make it the same set of tongs every time, and only feeding with tongs and not with your hands. So that's half of the taming of these guys, because um, when we talk about them being mean, there's two ways that we talk about them. We either mean that they are food responsive, they bite you for food, or either, you know, they are aggressive, defensive because they're scared. But that would probably be much more likely that you were trying to pick them up and be too forward with them or you had them pinned or something. So really, as far as day-to-day -day interaction goes, the best way to avoid getting bit is to Pavlovian condition them to a set of tongs.